Welcome to Kochi, India. A major port city on the west coast, it lies in the state of Kerala and is the most densely populated city in the state at about 600,000 people. Heralded as Queen of the Arabian Sea, Kochi's history dates back to the 12th century. After massive flooding destroyed the local port of Periyar, Kochi became one of the largest trading centers in India, a position it would hold for hundreds of years, and multiple ownerships by the Portuguese, Dutch, and Great Britain. Until finally in 1947 when India declared its independence, Kochi was the first princely state to join the Indian Union. The result is an unlikely blend of medieval Portugal, Holland, and an English country village grafted onto the tropical Malabar coast. Modern Kochi is full of life. The streets are packed with cars, motorcycles, and people waving in and out of traffic. If you're not careful, you may find yourself dodging tuk-tuks as they make their way down pedestrian walkways. I was lucky enough to enjoy a local meal at Dal Roti. Welcome to Dal Roti. I am Byron. I'm over here with Bernie. And we're going to be trying some chicken korma. Now, this is a delicacy that normally I have only tried in America. But we're going to try some local dish here at Dal Roti. So let's, let's see what the, uh, the local chicken korma is like. You know, it's a... Normally it's a... a this is a boneless chicken. Uh, coconut sauce with I'm not really sure what the other curry is, but we're gonna find out later and then I'll let you know. So let's give it a shot. Oh my god. <laughs> that is amazing. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is this is far better than anything you're going to find at home. This is it's sweet, but it's incredibly spicy. Yeah, that's spicy. Oh, that's fantastic. And we're going to be trying uh, this drink called a lassi. It's a uh, very sweet kind of curd drink that you have at the end of the meal. Uh, what's in it exactly? It's curd, uh, sugar. Curd, and sugar. They might put a bit of cardamom. Caramel? Ooh. Cardamom, uh, cardamom. cardamom. Spice. It's a spice. Oh, no. That's not as exciting as caramel. Let's give it a shot. Good. It's very, very thick. It's like um, something on a bottle. I have no way to compare it to. I have nothing to compare this to. This is something I've never had before. This is delicious. Cochin is made up mainly of tree-lined straight lanes running between old pastel-painted red-tiled Dutch and Portuguese villas and bungalows. The town is dotted with old churches, synagogues, palaces, temples, and mosques. The religious diversity can be seen on every street. Following these winding roads, they finally empty you at the heart of Fort Cochin. Cochin's port was once the European destination for trade and spices, mostly black pepper, which Cochin had the monopoly on, so much so that it was referred to as black gold. At that time, the pepper trade was so lucrative that the Raja of Cochin was considered among the most powerful in the subcontinent. Located on the coast of Cochin, the huge Chinese fishing nets are a tourist attraction, and rightly so. The unique fishing method is based on the Chinese method in which a crew of fishermen raise and lower the large net to and from the water every few minutes by pulling ropes connected to stones. The day's catch is sold at the end of each day at the local fish market located right next to the fishing nets. As you walk through the city, the port, and outer lying areas, you can't help but feel at home here. Everyone smiles and makes eye contact. No one is afraid to chat with strangers, tell stories of local customs, or go out of their way to make you feel like you belong. So whether you're looking for some fresh seafood cooked right in front of your eyes, hand jewelry, or a city rich in culture and history, come see Kochi. You won't want to leave.